What's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do post production on VR 180 video with Boris FX VR Unit. So you know how to reorient, how to insert graphic, text, logo into your VR stereoscopic environment and make it look correct. Again, any object inside the VR 180 video it is stereo and they have depth information. If you don't have the correct left and right eye conversion, your insert will look off in a VR headset like that. I'll teach you how to do a correct insert. And then I'll teach you how to remove tripod and how to do touch up on your VR special effects. And at the end, I will teach you how to tie everything together and do a correct final render so you have the correct metadata. So when you upload it on YouTube, it will look correct and show up as the brand new Google VR 180 video. So if you are ready, put on your 3D glasses and let's get started. Before we get started, First, make sure you have the correct VR 180 side-by-side -side footage. So most of the Google certified VR 180 cameras, either Zcam K1 Pro or the E Horizon or the Lenovo Mirage, will give you that directly out from the camera. If you shot with a custom VR 180 rig, please follow this tutorial to convert your footage into the correct side-by-side -side VR 180 format first. After that, you can bring your footage into Adobe Premiere and start editing. You do need a way to check stereo with your anagraph glasses or red and blue 3D glasses. Why, you may ask? Well, unless you have a 3D display or 3D TV, you need a way to make sure that the footage you brought in has a correct left and right eye stereo. It is not uncommon when you mix multiple VR 180 camera footage together, one of them has the left and right eye switched it. Let me give you an example. So here is my recent VR 180 camera review tutorial. The first one you look at right now is shot with the Zcam K1 Pro. So as you see, the Scion is on the right and the red is on the left and I'm against the white background. Okay, now jump into different camera which shot with two GH5 and you see the same scenario. We have the Scion on the right, red on the left against the white background. The next one is Kandal Obsidian. You also see the Scion on the right and the red is on the left and the next is actually the zcam k1 pro same scenario but this time the scion is actually on the left and the red is on the right again the same white background and then you can tell that the zcam k1 pro is actually flipped left and right stereo it's actually right and left stereo this is obviously the mistake i make but mistakes like that do happen when you combine different rig. So it's good to first step to check all the camera, make sure that you have the correct left and right stereo. Also, when you insert title and graphic, you need a way to tell if the insert is in the right place. Just like here, I insert my logo graphic in front of me. This should have more disparity compared to me because it's actually in front of me. If you make the disparity swap or make the disparity less than me, it just look weird when you put that on a VR headset. So you need to actually have a way to see that. Luckily, there is a way inside Premiere to let you do that. Just no one tell you how yet. And let me show you actually how to do that. So after I reset the setting, so first thing you click that usual VR button, all you see is this weird cutting footage because Premiere doesn't know this is a VR 180 footage. You need to tell Premiere that, hey, there's a VR 180 stereoscopic footage. It's right under sequences, right here, sequence setting. And then in right here, right here, the VR properties, make sure the projection is equal rectangular, but the layout is actually stereo side by side. And then instead of 360, because it's a 180 format. So go ahead and hit OK. And then now, if you go ahead and turn on the VR button, you see that it looks correctly. But again, you don't see anagraph. And again, you cannot actually do left and right pan as you see right here. The left and right doesn't have any effect. I can only do up and bottom. 
And let me show you a way to trick Premiere that that is a 180 video, should have left and right pen as well. It's right click and right here in the VR video setting. In the stereoscopic view, make sure you play anagraph. And then in here, monitor view horizontal, instead of full 180, you pick it 90 and then hit OK. So now you have the more Facebook square box look, but because of that, you can actually pan all the way left and all the way right. So now you can pan as well. After you check all the footage have the correct left and right eye stereo, the next step is reorient when your VR 180 is not perfectly level. You actually cannot use the Adobe Immersive Tools or the Metal Skyboard like you used to in VR 360 to reorient your footage because Adobe is not equipped to handle VR 180 yet. So a good plugin I found worked great is Boys Effects Continuum. Right here, the BCC 11 VR units. So Boys Effects also created the famous Mocha VR. For VR reorient, you can just drop the BCC VR reorient plugin on your footage like so. And then if you see right here in the input format, you can pick that is stereo left and right. And then it's a 180 degrees video. And then the output format is stereo left and right. And in the view mode, you can put in the preview. If you move around, you see that you can move around just like what you did. And it's 180, see the black border. You can also move left and right. See right there, left and right. So if you want another way to preview that, instead of using the VR preview button, you can easily use that as well. But I personally still prefer using the Adobe preview button right here because I can see anagraph, which is the most important reason why I use that. And then how to reorient, let's say that, look at this bean right now, it's not straight. So I can right here, move the Z in that. See, when I try to move the row, the Z axis, you move together, we keep level together. If you see in VR right here, see it moved together. So next thing we're going to talk about, which is the meat of this tutorial is how to insert a graphic title in your footage. So again, you cannot do it in the regular VR immersive tool by Adobe. I can actually show you. I need to insert this graphic in here. So let me drop in the immersive video tool, which is the VR plane to sphere, drop it into that object. And if I go to control, you see the frame layout. This only have monoscopic and stereo over and under, but there's no stereo side by side for the insert. So see, it's not going to be correct. So I cannot actually use the VR plane to sphere to insert VR graphic. So the only effective way I found so far is again, using the boys effect continuum VR unit right here with the VR insert. So how to use that is actually not like a traditional plane to fear. You want to create a transparency video and then drop the transparency video right here. And I actually move the footage on the bottom, put the transparent video on top of that insert footage, make sure they are in the same length. And I actually hide this layer. As you see, this layer is not visible. So my graphic is hidden. And then in a transparent video layer, I drop in the BBC VR insert to right here on the layer. And then again, in the input format, I can put stereo left and right. It's VR 180. And then it's stereo left and right for the output. And then here the insert layer, I can pick the layer I just hidden, which is layer two, video two. After I do that, as you see, the graphic is insert in the VR 180 video and is VR side by side right here. It's too small, so I'm gonna increase the scale. After that, there's no way I can tell if the stereo disparity is correct in the scene. And that is when you wanna turn on the VR display for the anagraph and put on your 3D glasses and then adjust your conversion right here to make sure they have a correct conversion of the insert graphic. The best way to adjust the conversion, I found out is basically just adjust the slider. And as you can see, you can adjust it slowly. Again, if you cannot see this clearly, I will go ahead and right click in the footage, VR video, go ahead, uncheck the show controls. So we have bigger window so you can see better. So this part, I will highly suggest you to put on your 3D glasses and really see the difference. 
because right now this object is supposed to be in front of me and I'm actually very close to the camera. If you hide this object, you see that I have a disparity like pretty far. So that is a disparity I try to match. So I go ahead and move the slider on the left. And as you see, when you move on the left with positive value, it's actually wrong. As you see, the scion is going to the left, the rest going to the right. So basically swap the left and right eyes. And that is wrong. So again, you need a negative values. You can only really see this in the anagram mode. That's why also so important to look at this in the anagram mode. While playing with the value, I will not only just measure the distance between the scion and the red, like look at this scene without the 3D glasses. I'll actually put on the 3D glasses and adjust the value there until I see it's more comfortable with, for my eyes. And I can tell around right there, it looked like the object is in front of me. And then that's good. That's how you do the entire insert. Okay, let me show you a couple more examples so you get more practice. As you see right here, this is the graphic insert on top of my head. Let me reset all the value right here. So first, when I insert the graphic, it actually just looks flat. And I want this animation actually go kind of go onto the wall to have the 3D effects, which is also a very common task to make it believable for this graphic insert. So now if you pan around, this doesn't look like it belongs to the scene. So what I need to do, go on to the VR insert unit. First thing I do, I want to find a correct scale, which is 1.5. And then I will play with the longitude until it feels like it's part of the scene. And I switch back and forth from VR view to not VR view to make sure that this graphic is kind of like in a level with the ceiling. So it looks like it got stuck into the wall. And then next thing is, as you see, now the graphic have no disparity. So if you put on a 3D glasses, it does not look like it's actually part of the wall, look like actually cave into the wall. So I want to try to add some conversion in here to make it sell believable. So definitely not positive value, it's negative value. And try to, I'm trying to eyeball thing with the scion, with the scion in here, because this painting is supposed to be in the same distance of this banner like animation because it's both hang on the wall. So again, go put on your 3D glasses, make sure it look right to you. And that's how you insert this graphic. So let's check out one more example, some creative use of the VR insert tube. As you see, I position each insert in different location, tracking with the person's head. And look at the disparity here, right here. So that label is pretty close to the camera. So have a larger stereo disparity compared to the label right behind right here. Let me go ahead and play the whole scene actually. So you see he show up right here and then we track him right here. So the label has animation tracking subject right here because he in the vertical space, he's going from close to the camera right here, this point to a further away from the camera. So if you see the animation point right here, this label have an animation on the insert conversion. And from here, we have conversion and when it go to the and we actually drop the conversion to zero. So basically blend into the background. So that is other creative use. You can use directly with the voice effect continuum directly inside Premiere. You don't even need to use after effect to do this. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to remove tripod in VR 180. So if you take a look at this scene right here, if I hide this layer, you see that there is a tripod right here seen in the VR 180 video. If you take a VR look, you look down, you see the tripod right here. So my suggestion for you to shooting VR 180 is first to using a really small footprint monopod to just avoid this step in our cars because not like radio 360 rig, the bottom of the camera actually have pretty big stereo disparity in the side-by-side -side VR 180 rig. So it's preferably not doing object removal. But the remove is actually very simple. So step one is go ahead and take a screenshot of this frame. So save it somewhere in a location. And then you go ahead and open that frame in Photoshop. And you are just going to paint this part out.
and then you go ahead and select this part and create a mask and then you just need to render this part out as a PNG and in Premiere you just need to put that new patch in the footage as you see this before and put the patch in after so now the tripod is gone the next thing I will do for VR 180 footage is I will use the the VR sharpening tool to make the video sharper in pose. So after you finish all the insert and edit and put everything together, the final step is render out for YouTube and Google upload. At the time of recording, unfortunately, Google still haven't released the official Meta injector for VR 180. So the only way to inject Meta to make sure your upload will work on YouTube is through a third party stitching solution called Mythica VR. So from Premiere, your goal is to render the highest resolution possible video for Mystica to inject the meta. And I will choose DNxHR and HQ 8-bit and match source. And the resolution is 6K. As you see, that is the Zcam resolution, the Zcam K1 Pro resolution. I will always suggest you render 6K for YouTube because again, even for 180, the video is stretched on YouTube. And even more importantly, when viewer is not watching your video on a VR headset, they only gonna crop and stretch the center part of your video. And that is why higher resolution is better. And then you open Mystica VR. I have a Mystica VR template for Zcam K1 Pro right here. Again, it's 6K. So here is the final render file, DNX HR from Premiere. You drop it into Mystica. Continue. And then you do it again. Again, continue. So basically, you drop the same footage twice into Mystica. And this is actually the hack for Mystica VR. And then you go ahead into my description of this video and go download a Mystica VR special template. And go ahead and download that Mystica VR template. It's called VR 180 to VR 180. And drop that preset into this window. And then if you look at the side by side VR 180, you see it's actually correct. And then you can go ahead, do the final render for Mystica. Go ahead and hit render. And in here, just business as usual. But the most important thing is to pick the stereo. You're gonna pick left and right VR 180. The second most important thing is remember to check this inject spatial matter right here. Also put right here because there is an audio mixing already in this video. So make sure that you, you click in movie for audio and then pick the location and go ahead and hit render. And the file you can directly upload on YouTube and it will work as VR 180 on Google. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumb up if you want to learn more about VR 180 and VR 360 post production. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I have a hands-on tutorial coming up next on my upcoming music video release and I'll teach you how to do all my special effects in the upcoming video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell when new video come out and I will see you next time.